And as expected, Governor Whitmer announcing the emergency order keeping indoor dining shut down will be extended through the end of January. But the governor did say that if numbers continue their current trend, indoor dining will be back next month. Victor Williams following today's announcement and getting reaction from restaurant owners. Victor. Yes, Karen, some of these owners, as you can imagine, are not too happy with this extension, and they're not alone. Some of the same feelings are felt and shared by some of the lawmakers here in our state. I try to remain optimistic, but it's hard to. Nicola's barbecue manager, Velko Milosevic, looks on in disappointment as it's announced by Governor Whitmer that the ban on indoor dining will remain intact until February 1st. We open up the dining room here for a while, and it only seems like it's getting prolonged and, and pushed, and it seems like the restaurants are the ones that are getting singled out. Similar mindset from Spag Burger owner John Spag. I think our doors need to be open. It's gonna cripple us. But I pray to God that this gets to be the end of it. And when the pandemic hit, they shut us down, which was in Thanksgiving. You know, it's been, you know, we're just hanging on. Both restaurants have been able to stay afloat because of carryout orders, but other establishments haven't been as lucky. Lawmakers, however, are saying enough is enough and that it's time to reopen. Michigan Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky speaking on the issue Wednesday morning. To me, it's just a continuation of the tone deafness of this governor. The, uh, the uh, absurdity of saying, well, it's okay to safe to open up restaurants now, but you can't do it until February 1st. Uh, the uh, a conclusion of open when you're ready would have made far more sense. And the fact of the matter is that there was never ever any, any causation associated with restaurants and the spread of COVID leaves open the door for the governor to do the same thing again, should she choose to. And Shirky is not the only lawmaker displeased with the governor's decision. The list goes on and on. But if there was anything positive to come out of the announcement today made by the governor, it would be that group fitness is going to be able to resume. Victor Williams, local floor.